Hey, uh, Cash Stick Bullcraft here today. Um, what I want to do is uh, uh, post a video here of um, how I actually shoot a bow. I had mentioned it in previous videos um, that I have posted, but I uh, haven't really got into you know things like gripping the bow or your anchor point or you know other the release. Uh, uh, when you release the string, and uh, uh, I wanted to go over that. Um, I was a little bit apprehensive about posting a video like this because I don't want people to think that I actually know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> um, it's really not a how-to video. It's a, it's more of a how I video. So this is how I do it. I'm not telling you how to do it. So um, everybody has their own way of. Uh, Shooting, there are uh, uh, pretty standard uh, things that uh, one needs to know, and that's pretty much being consistent uh, in your uh, shooting setup and release, um, follow through, and, uh, and so on and so on. So, um, uh, but uh, this is how I do it, and uh, with that, we'll just get right into it. Anyway, um, first off, uh, when I'm gripping the bow, you know, I'm not holding the bow with the palm of my hand um, straight up like that. You could see that when you're holding it like that, it gets your arm in the way of the string. So when you when you uh, release the string, it's going to hit your uh, hit your forearm, uh, and that's why a lot of people they wear wear those bracers. I've I've never worn a bracer, and uh, you know I never do because it, it's too much trouble for me to put on and take off. So uh, basically what I do, I hold, I hold the bow in this manner. I got the web of my thumb in there, and then I'll have the, uh, the first two fingers around it, almost like you know, you're pointing uh, down at, at an angle. And as I'm holding the, the bow, I'm just holding it with actually these first two fingers, and these last two fingers are just kind of like resting comfortably there. So you can see that uh, the bow is in the... Uh, in the web of my thumb, but my arm is out of the way of the string. And plus two, you're holding the bow down at an angle, which is the way I typically shoot, and um, uh, your, your forearm is out of the way of the string, and uh, uh, it doesn't hurt so much. Uh, well, it doesn't hurt at all because it doesn't hit, the, hit your forearm. So that's pretty much how I, how I grip my bow. And I, as I noted in uh, other videos, you know, a lot of people, when they're target shooting or whatever, they're holding the bow straight up and down. Uh, in my style of shooting, well, it's not my style, but it's typical with uh, traditional primitive bow styles. Um, you're holding the bow at, at an angle. Um, that too puts the arrow more in, on, in, in line with the target. And um, to me, it's a more instinctive and more natural and comfortable way of shooting uh, a bow. I don't really like being straight up and down because uh, when you're hunting, you know, who knows what you're going to be into. So a lot of times you'll be crouched down and your bow's going to be at a slanted, uh, uh, slanted uh, position and you're going to take the shot like that. That's the way, that's the way I do it so um, it works the best for me. Now the second thing, and no doubt I'll probably forget, uh, forget stuff. But uh, the second thing for me is an uh, anchor point. Uh, some people, uh, you know, their anchor point will be, you know, down here or to their ear, or they'll do it most do it to the corner of their mouth. Uh, they might do the first finger, the middle finger. Um, they might touch their tooth. Wherever your anchor point is, it would be where you're most comfortable with it. Um, the only issue with that is just to make it consistent, have it the same anchor point all the time. So now, you know, you may have to uh, switch it up a little to find out what's most comfortable for you. Um, but do what's comfortable for you and uh, uh, what you can be consistent in doing. My anchor point is the corner of my mouth, and I touch it with the, my my uh, my finger, and that, when I pull back, that's where I'm pulling to. So my draw length is based off of um, the back of the bow 
to wherever this anchor point is right here, and that's pretty much about 26 inches or so. Um, if I'm shooting a short bow, um, a lot of times I can get down to 24 inches, but when I'm just shooting a long bow, especially when I'm practicing, that's probably about 26 inches. So make your, sure your anchor point is uh, uh, consistent and it's where um, it's comfortable for you. Uh, another thing as well, that's one, we got the grip, we got the anchor point. Another thing would be uh, drawing the arrow. Um, it's got some random arrows here. Actually, you know what, I'm not going to draw this arrow. I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys. When you draw in the arrow, um, you know what, I will draw this arrow. Okay. When you draw in the arrow, you've got your grip. Uh, the way I do it is I'm pointing the arrow at the target. I got both eyes open and I'm just part, uh, pointing at the target uh, uh, instinctively and um, naturally. Um, it takes some practice. They call that instinctive shooting. And uh, but at, you know, with practice, you'll you'll be able to do it. You know, when you when you're uh, you know throwing a baseball is one one way I heard it. You know, you're throwing a baseball. You're you're throwing it where you're looking. You're not aiming. There's no sights on the baseball. You're just doing it instinctively, throwing that ball, and you know you can hit the guy anywhere on his body. You can throw it in his glove or wherever. So with practice, uh, just like throwing a baseball, you can shoot a bow. And um, uh, what I would recommend is that you start off close and then work your way back. But typically, the way I do it is uh, when I'm looking at the, when I've got my uh, arrow on the string, I'll be looking at the target and I'm pointing my arrow at, at my target already. So that when I pull back, my arrow is still on target and I'm still able to have a smooth release and uh, uh, let the arrow go right to the target. You don't want to be in a position where you're drawing the bow and then bringing it to target. Um, uh, then what happens at that point, then you start aiming. And uh, shooting a stick bow, a self bow, especially a bow that's not backed, um, that's only one piece of wood, uh, you don't want to spend too much time aiming. You want to have that bow on, that arrow on target, draw back, and then release. Okay, so um, that's how you would, uh, I guess, uh, uh, address the target, as it were. Um, when you're getting ready to shoot. So uh, so that's three. So then we got the, the grip, um, the anchor point, uh, the draw. And now what we're going to do is the, is the, uh, is the release. And um, basically with the release, uh, the way I do it, you know, we, we spoke briefly about anchor point where you're drawing back, you get to your anchor point and then you let go. Um, anchor point is not so much an anchor where you're holding it at that point. Uh, what it is, I would prefer to call it the touch point. When you're drawing the bow back, as soon as you touch that point, you're letting it go. Um, there are people who have fiberglass back bows, laminated bows, where they have several pieces of wood glued together. And with those bows, you can get to your anchor point hold the bow back, take your breath, take your time, and then shoot it when you're ready to shoot it. With a self bow, a stick bow, just one piece of wood, it may have uh, you know, some backing, like this case this has rawhide backing on the back, but nevertheless, with a stick bow, um, what you're doing, you're, you're, you're holding the arrow on target, you're pulling back, and as soon as you reach that touch point, you're letting it go. Almost to the point where, you know, when you feel that string just ripping from your fingers, um, that's the time to let it go. Uh, and it all depends on the bow you have, the weight you draw, the draw length that you do. Um, uh, for instance, with a short bow, there's, there's a floating anchor, or there's very small, uh, very uh, short draw on those types of bows. And you're just pulling back, and when that string feels like it's going to rip from your fingers, then you let it go. Um, same thing with the long bow, even though it's, it's, it draws to your anchor point, 28, 30 inches. Uh, the way I shoot it is, I'll hold my hand up to the target, draw back slowly, and as soon as I touch my anchor point, I'm letting it go. Um, the reason for that is because you don't want to overstress the limbs, it's just a piece of wood. You don't want to lift the, take the chance of lifting a splinter or, or breaking the bow. 
and um, uh, it's, a, it's a more smooth and fluid thing. Um, you just have to try it to uh, really appreciate uh, how effective that, that type of shooting is, at least from my point of view, I think that's very effective. Um, so there again, we have it. Um, uh, here's another example of that. I have my hand arc, my target, my, my grip is uh, in the web of my thumb. I've got my finger one, one, one over, two under. Some people shoot three under. Uh, that's fine, however way you do it. Um, obviously with this, your anchor point. Sorry about that, the uh, memory on my uh, camera there got uh, full, so I don't know where it left off exactly, but um, it's too bad because I had a lot of really cool stuff to say. <laughs> but anyway, um, I think where I left off was uh, people who shoot three under, uh, that's fine if that's where your anchor point is. It does put the arrow a little bit closer to your to your eye or closer in line with your sight. So uh, uh, that's a good thing. It really doesn't matter what type of uh, way you shoot it, either one over, three under. Um, I suppose there's other ways too. Some people use a thumb and release. But however way you do it, you know, just make sure that your, your touch point is uh, the same and consistent. So uh, here's another example of the shot. I've got my uh, arrow pointing straight ahead at my target, drawing back slowly and letting go. Um, I think uh, the next thing now would be the draw. You know, we kind of went a little bit backwards. Uh, the release, you're supposed to draw the, the string before you release the string. So. Um, uh, we're going to talk about the draw now. So what you're doing when you're drawing the bow, uh, you've got your arrow on target, but the actual drawing back of the string, you want to draw back slowly, simple enough. You don't want to jerk the string back or make any sudden or quick moves. Again, like I say, these bows, this, it's a stick bow, it's just a piece of wood. And uh, especially on a cold day, if you just start jerking that thing back, uh, you may lift the splinter or possibly uh, crack the bow. I've never had a bow crack on me from drawing. I've had bows crack uh, from people not stringing them properly, which is in another video. Um, but I've never had one break while, uh, at least that I know of, while it was being drawn. Uh, at least, I've never had one break while I was drawing it, I should say. So, um, uh, when you're drawing the string, you want to draw back slowly. Especially when you're out hunting, you know, like I said, you don't want to have any quick or sudden moves, and for sure you don't want to surprise the limbs. You want to be able to draw that bow uh, slowly and deliberately and uh, uh, to keep from uh, uh, overstressing the limbs too quickly. Um, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So um, in drawing the bow, you want to uh, draw the, the string back slowly and let go, okay? Now the release, um, we spoke about that, but uh, what do you actually do with your fingers? Um, I guess that would be a part of the release as well. So um, what I do is when I reach my anchor point, I just simply uh, relax my fingers and just pull them straight back uh, in line with the arrow as it leaves, uh, as it leaves the string. Um, you don't want to bring it here and then pluck the string out this way or, uh, uh, you know, do some crazy thing with your hand. You just want that release to be as smooth and fluid as possible. And like I said before, you know, the string is yanking from your hands, is, is pulling or ripping from your hands, so it's easy enough to just let your fingers relax, just to relax your fingers. Don't uh, uh, consciously let go of the string. I would just, just relax your fingers and just practice making it as smooth and as fluidly as possible. Um, some people, when they release, They'll touch their shoulder to make sure that their hand is being drawn back uh, uh, in line with, with the flight of the arrow. It just makes a, a better, cleaner release. Um, uh, some people will, will come like this. Some people will, will, will uh, release and then touch, another, touch their ear to make sure that their hand uh, stays in line with the, uh, with the release of the arrow. But basically what I do, I just go until my hand uh, uh, feels the, the string leave it, and then I just, you know, just pull it straight back. Um, there's probably a whole 
uh, debate or a whole, uh, uh, you know, a whole other video, I suppose, which is something I probably will never make, on the release of a string, on holding your bow, on any of the things that I just went over. There's probably other videos and, and in-depth conversations that people have about this sort of thing. And um, uh, as far as uh, shooting the bow is concerned, you know, you hear uh, the, uh, the saying, uh, aim small, miss small. That's a good saying. You know, you want to pick a small, short, uh, small tar target on your target, a small area on your target, aim small and miss small. But my idea of shooting is, <laughs> my idea of shooting is bend stick, shoot stick. I don't really pay much attention to what I'm doing because I, in, by practicing all the time, it just becomes second nature. So you're no longer worried or thinking about, am I holding my bow right? Am I releasing right? Am I drawing my bow far enough? I'm just simply bend stick, shoot stick. And that's all I do. I just try to make it as natural and non-thinking and non-technical as possible, just like my bows. Anyway, um, no doubt I forgot something. Um, like I said, I don't want people to uh, misunderstand me in thinking that I know what I'm talking about. I just know what I do, and I only know what I know. So hopefully um, this short video will uh, help you guys in your, uh, in your travels in the uh, archery world. And um, if you have any questions or uh, any pointers for me, please uh, feel free to contact me. Um, either way, this is uh, Cash Tip Bullcraft. Thanks for watching. Uh, one more thing that I forgot. Um, see, I changed my clothes because I'm getting ready to go to work. Um, when you're drawing the bow, uh, I neglected to say it in the previous uh, videos, um, but when I draw the bow, I'm not holding the bow out right away um, and then pulling the string back. When I'm drawing the bow, I usually hold the bow up close to me, especially when you're in the woods or something. You know, you want to hold the bow up close, and as I'm drawing, I'm extending my arm and pulling back at the same time. So from here, I've got my arrow pointing at the target, just like that. So uh, that's another thing that uh, you might want to consider. Um, I forgot to mention that in the earliest videos, or in the earlier uh, portion of this video, and uh, I just thought about it just now. So, um, so there you go. Again, uh, Cash Tip Bowcraft, thanks, thanks for watching.